Jack Post, did he really say that? Every week, a young child in England listens to the show, catches up with the podcast. Every time Jack says something wise, he pauses the podcast and writes it down. He compiles this into a top ten, sends it to me to read to you, Melbourne. Right. Go easy on me, I've got a sore tongue. <laughs> there's nothing, hey, listen, there's nothing but wisdom here. Be proud. At ten, outdoor stick-hitting ball type sport. <laughs> Some of them I don't ever remember saying. But I believe him. At nine, something about the no face is creepy. <laughs> In reference to mannequins, which I stand by. <laughs> At eight, the hills. We don't want them to have eyes. <laughs> At seven, I had to think of the film. Too much confusion. Bronze. Someone being marked down because Jack had to search for yep. movie reference. <laughs> At six, I don't see how chopsticks can be biased. <laughs> I think we were talking about it, on Monday. We were talking about things you can't do. And chopsticks. Yeah, yeah. Hats can't use chopsticks. No, That's it. Biased chopsticks. Great name for an indie band. At five, <laughs> I can't run a. Da- <laughs> this is great. I can't run a countdown clock and craft a trivia question. <laughs> I can't. At four, I've got an urge for denim. My denim urge is high. <laughs> <laughs> this week's postcode bingo game. Uh, we're into the top three now. This is one of my favourite ones. This, sh- this could have been at number one. All, uh, all my school camps were just in the dining hall. <laughs> <laughs> Poor young Jack Post. <laughs> Actually, no, this should have been number one, but it's a number two. Yesterday, this very day, the day before today. <laughs> <laughs> That's the greatest one ever. Yesterday, this very day, the day before today. But at number one, cockatiels. Don't they understand English? <laughs> <laughs> well, some... Some birds. <laughs> to try to justify it. it. No. <laughs> the Christian O'Connell Breakfast Show.